Hey, shalom, shalom as well. Um, first of all, to call the Lord here, how about Shemi Aushai, about Shemi Kakodash, about honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers and highways and byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Your brother Shapal, you know, um, we're the Hebrew Israelite, the scriptures speak up, you know what I mean? Um, you know, even the father's name is Yahusha, Yahawa, it's like you, yeah, and the name of the Holy Begot Son is Yahusha. You know what I mean? And we're sent over this side of the world to ultimately ful fulfill Bible prophecy. You know what I mean? Um, as well as we have transgressed the laws and such as of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, even the Father and the Son. You know what I mean? As punishment. You know, and our people, right now we're looking, um, the, the elect of the nation of Israel, you know what I mean? We're looking um, for that salvation promised unto us by our even the Father, right, through His Son. And that's the reason why his son died on the cross, right? So to bring us back, the elect, right? The son of the heavenly father died for the elect of the nation of Israel, right? As it said in, um, in, um, what is it? Isaiah. Isaiah, um, the first chapter, I believe. It, uh, let me see if I can find that. Um, Isaiah 1 and verse 26 it says, And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterwards thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. So the Lord I will restore the judges first, right, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, and that's what we're waiting on. Right, in this time span, all right, the judges are the 144,000. Right, I think the governing body of the nation of Israel. Okay. Sin. So that's who Yahweh Shai, right? The, world, the man who the world ignorantly called Jesus. This is not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai, the son of David and the father. Those are their names in the Hebrew. Alright? Sin. Now, um, hey, this is a follow up to a lesson that I did, you know, on, on, um, on truth. And I mentioned a scripture, alright, in um, Judges. I said Judges 10. That's what I, um, I, I mentioned um, that the scripture was in Judges 10. It's actually in Joshua 1 and verse 8. And it said, This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. Right? Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. You know, um, so we're supposed to meditate in these words, man, day and night, day and night, right? And that's, that's what keep us going in our in our evil society such as this. You know what I mean? All right. So this lesson is based upon for the fact that look, we as um, men of Lord coming uh, with this word right now, it's been looked at, has been looked down at. All right, and you have some wayward doctrine out there, man, wherein. Men <laughs> come with the most outrageous thing, you know what I mean. And however, these are the men where people really give um. These are the men where people really look up to, all right. See, but we know we know how shy was a, was a forerunner, man, and, and they never give you how shy. Um, they never acknowledge him for who he is. So neither do we expect them to acknowledge us, all right. This is a scripture from 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right? So these words, is not our words, man. It's the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Right? You have a scripture, you know, and um, was, I believe it's Hosea. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's the spirit. It's one flip of the Bible pages and here is it. This is Hosea 6 and verse 5 said, Therefore I've hewed them by the um, by the prophets, and I've slain them by the word of my mouth. And thy judgment are as a light that goeth forth, man. Alright? So the Lord used us, you know what I mean, as a as a um, as a way for channeling his message, man. Ever since the creation of earth. Because men are the Lord's instrument. To be used to fulfill his will. And that's why out here in the highways and the byway is saying, Thus say the Lord, how about Shimei Hell is about to unleash on this, on this earth, man. 
a little bit weird but you know it now it's going to change very drastically right and the lord is doing this on both sides man right the lord is doing this through he saw he them which is so-called white man in the terms of the horrified the microchip wars right the, the, the third world war is brewing right now right between israel iran which have a jaw america out right and from america is drawn out in that war then you have russia and, and china right and all their allies right are going to be pulled into a, a full-fledged third, third world's war and that's written in the scriptures the horrified microchip which is the mark of the beast is written in the scriptures civil honors famine you know i mean death and destruction man that's what is coming to the earth and that's what we're saying to you people man right as well as reproving our people from their wicked ways man that the lord will destroy you people in this coming destruction in the time of jacob trouble which you're approaching now man all right see so um let us continue um Hosea and then we'll just back to um second Ezra. all right so Hosea 5 and verse 6 is there for I have desire mercy and not sacrifice right and the knowledge of God more than burnt offering right so um so but like men have transgressed the, the covenant and they have um uh, and there have they um deal treacherously against me all right uh I'm not a fuck you know we don't want to stray far from the point so we just go back into um second Ezra. all right so back in second Ezra 15 and verse 1 so be all speak during the years of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth say the lord and cause them to be written in paper um for their faithful and true man. and that's what we, we, we're doing today man it's, it's, it's speaking about the scriptures um fear not the imagination against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee all right let not the unbelief of these people trouble us man because there, there's, there's a lot of unbelief and there's a lot of things working against this truth man right so for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness all right seeing so hey thus say the lord yahweh bashim yahushai man right and another thing all people it's like it's a uh <laughs> hey it, it's hard to believe that us as men of the Lord, man, right? Out there in the Irish and the Bible. And this, it shows me that, look, when people read these scriptures, they're not led by the Spirit, man, uh, the Spirit of truth. You know what I mean? The Lord, the Lord, the is dealing with a, a, a selective amount of people. Because the Spirit of truth is not really deal with these people, man. All right? This is um, Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiastes, um, Ecclesiastes 9, we start at verse 14. So there was a little city and few men within, right? And there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great um, bulk works against it. Now there was found in that a poor man, there was found in it a poor wise man, right? And by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom, nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. Alright? So, <laughs> the higher you climb in this society, man, is the more, even if you're saying crap, is the more your words. Is being appreciated and your words become precious to the ears of the unlearned and the unjust all right see so a lot of people are going to hear what we're saying and they more go, go against it you know what i mean which you know it's all these things who fulfill, fulfill bible prophecy see so we don't we don't lose sleep over that we know we understand all right see Deuteronomy 18 and verse 18 say I will rise up a prophet from among them from among their virgins like you yeah. right like unto thee and I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them and all 
um, speak unto them all that I shall command it. All right? And we're the prophets, man. And we know we've been, we're not being looked at as prophets. I mean, because if you go to the highways and the Bible, which, we, which we've been doing for years, and speak of certain things and, and declare ourselves to be prophets, you know what I mean? You know, we, we, are, we are worthy to be laughed at by these people, man, because they know us, right? They, they know a lot of the brothers um, from a child coming up. So when were you anointed this, this type as prophets? As they did Yahusha, right? Yahusha was a prime example, all right? Yep. So this is, um, so this is Acts 3 and verse 23. This is um, Acts 3 and verse, verse 23. Uh, start a verse. Yeah, can we start a verse 23? And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet, right, which will not hear that prophet, shall be destroyed from among the people. Alright? Yeah. And all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow as many all right, as have spoken likewise um, foretold of these days. See? So, where that same uh, spirit coming back, man, from, 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 the, from in, in our time, from in our time of Moses, right? I mentioned Samuel coming up foretold of the days which, are, which we're heading in, man. And no matter how much time we, 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 we go through and we, we speak of the things to come and people see it coming through, all right, which is the true meaning of a prophet, you know what I mean? Hey, we can never be that, you know what I mean? But as the scriptures say, never let the, the incredulity of them trouble, the unbelief of them um, trouble us, man. Um, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8 said, The prophets that have been before. And before thee of all prophesy both against countries and against great kingdoms of wars and evil and pestilence the prophets which prophesy peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then shall um, the prophet um, be known right that the Lord had sent him seeing so we're prophesying of war we're prophesying against society we're prophesying of coming and all of that man all right and all of these things we're prophesying against as the the the, the, the um, prophets of all prophesied is coming to pass see but hey the scripture said then shall they know who are my chosen man when all of these things will come to pass right um according to the book of ezekiel you know what i mean then they're gonna know man when it's too late you know, so we say all of that to say, look, man, we're in a time, a, a, a destructive time, right? It's upon our people, as the scripture foretold from the, the foundation of this earth, you know. And we are going out there preaching and teaching the same word that we've been preaching and teaching for years until the Lord decided that, look, it's time for us to come out of the corners and start putting up videos on YouTube, you know. Hey. Lord's will be part of that normal, man. That's, that's what we're looking for, man. See? Shalom.